Okay, students, so in this video, we are going to find square root of numbers which are already perfect square, right? Numbers which are already perfect squares. And if you want to find their square roots, how you are going to find them. All right. So before we go for this, what you should actually remember, let's just talk about that, right? So the squares of first 10 natural numbers. So let's say one square. We know that is one. Similarly, we have two square, which is four, three square, which is nine and so on till 10. Right, so I've just written it. Definitely we know them for sure that what they under what we know them all. Also, I'm making a uh, another column which says that what is the unit rate of them all. So for example, this is one only, this is four, this is nine, this is six, five. I'm only writing the unit digit of the squares that we have found. Okay, nine, then you have four, then you have one, and this is zero, right? Clear? So evidently, I'll come to this again. If you notice, there is a fixed pattern. What is the fixed pattern? Can you tell me the fixed pattern? See, one is here. Four is again here, right? Nine is again here. So there is a definite pattern which by which they are getting repeated. But I come to that again. Now let us start finding um, square roots, right? So let's see what is the thing that we are going to use for finding the square roots. So let us start our calculation of the square root with three digit first of all we'll take three digit numbers right square root three digit numbers which are already a perfect square right these are already a perfect square so for example you want to find square root of five seven six right most of you might know this but let's figure out how you have to solve and then we'll take the uh, we'll make the process difficult so for the first thing that you have to notice here is simply the last digit here right so if you notice the last digit here it is six now notice in the unit section column right you have to notice in the unit digit column here where is six coming so six is coming here and six is coming here which comes at the unit place of four or six so what we will say that the unit digit of this number interestingly will be either 4 or 6. We do not know for sure, but we know that if you square a 4 or a 6, the unit date will come 6. That is why we have done this. Got it? First step. So let me write this as your step 1. Okay, so this is what the thing that we have done is, this is your step 1, that is determination through the unit digit. Now the next target is to understand whether it will be 4 or 6, what it would be. Okay, let's see how we move this. So for the step two, let me write step two here then. Okay, so 576 will be broken in two parts like this. Leave the last two digits that is seven and six and pick the digit which is left, which is five. Okay, so if five is left, where will you get five? By that I mean whose number square is closest to five? So for example, 5 lies between 4 and 9, the number should be, or is quite something that we have taken the greatest integer. The number which will lie between 5, or the number 5 will lie between, sorry, 4 and 9, that is why it, we will write 2 here. Okay, it lies between 4 and 9, 4 is a square of 2, 9 is square of 3, We'll take the smallest integer that is 2, right? So we'll take 2 here, right? So that is for sure that 576 will have its tens digit as 2. So this becomes your basically tens digit. This is how you solve. This is your tens digit, right? For the ones digit, now the unit digit or the ones place, whatever you call ones place. So let me call it unit because sometimes people get confused. So unit digit will be either 4 or 6 at this point in time. So how you will find that answer? You will find that answer in step 3. So step 3 is nothing. So now you have got 2. Now multiply 2 with this consecutive integer, next integer. That will be 2 into 3, right? This comes out to be equal to 6. Now you have to compare this number 6 with the number written over here. So 5 is less than 6. That means smaller. So you will take the number whichever is smaller out of 4 and 6 from step 1. So that means 
4 will be taken. So that means 10th digit is 2 and the 4 digit is, uh, is unit digit is 4. That means the answer is 24. The under root of 5, 76 is nothing but 24. I hope you understand what we were trying to do. I'll quickly repeat with the help of another example so that you will understand this process and start appreciating it. So next uh, example that we are taking for 3 digits is 961. So first thing that you have to check is unit digit. Right? Unit digit. So unit digit of this number is 1. Where does 1 is coming? 1 either is coming here or 1 is coming here. That means the possibility that you will have here is either it will be through 1 or the unit place will be 9. Got it? Step 2 is asking you to split the number split the number how you have to split the number please remember not through single digit so 9 and 6 1 leave the last two digits right where is 9 coming in fact 9 this time is actually a complete perfect square of 3 so that means this decides the tens place so tens place you will have equal to 3 because 9 is basically square of 3 now the third step that you will have to calculate third step is unit digit again how you will translate the unit digit whether it is 1 or 9 you have already got 3 here right so what you will do is you will take this 3 here multiply with its next consecutive number is 12 right and now compare this 12 this 12 with this 9 right so what you will say 9 is less than 12 that is why you will pick the smaller of 1 and 9 that is 1 answer 31 got it as simple as that okay now let's ex extend this examples to four date numbers also okay now let's take the first four date number that you have to take is let's say 1 2 2 5 okay now let's see again what we will do step 1 is same what you will do for step 1 step 1 is unit digit what is the unit date here 5 5 comes only at one place can you see this 5 is only coming here that means unit digit is fixed it is actually 5 in fact your step 3 is also compromised here because you will not get 5 anywhere now step 2 step 2 was finding tens place for tens you will split right and how the splitting was happening like this got it so you will now see for 12 12 lies between 9 and 6 right it lies between 9 and 6 so we will take the smaller integer smaller integer is 3 so that means tens digit tens digit is equal to 3 answer is over answer is 35 35 square is nothing but 12 25 that's it that's how simply you can actually apply the magic of Vedic maths let's pick another question let's say if we take under root 5184 assuming I am again taking numbers which are already perfect squares right step one is to figure out unit place unit place you have 4 here now you are confused that 4 is here and you will also get 4 here now here is the trick now as usual I explain the tricks generally in the end that's how I teach so the trick here again that you can remember brilliant trick which I am going to tell you so you know that 4 comes at, this 4 will come at 2, just make sure that the next number add up to 10. I will repeat. So the 4 you know comes at 2, it will also be the unit place of 8 square. How I calculated this is, 2 plus 8 should be equal to 10. This is what I have did. So if you know that 4 is at the unit place of 2, 8's unit place will also be 4. You can check these rules by your own right see 1 is coming for 1 now I have already told you that this will also be the case for 9 check we know 2 is square leaves unit digit 4 I am saying 2 plus 8 is 10 so 8 square will also have unit digit 4 3 square gives you unit digit as 9 3 plus 7 is 9 or 10 7 square will give you unit digit 9 similarly 4 square gives you unit digit 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. 6 unit digit will also be, got it? 
and 5 is a unique case which only has 5. Got it? Clear? So this is the trick. Now coming back to the question. Now we know that 2 and 8 could be a possible solution. Now our target is again to split. If we split, this is how you will split. 51, 84. Now 51 is just above 49. Can you see this? This is just above 49. So that means if you were to round off, the answer for 10's place would be so yes, absolutely. 10's place is finalized. 10's place is going to be 7. Smaller or greater number, that we will decide by multiplying 7 into 8. 7 into 8 is 56. 51 is smaller than 56. That is why we will pick the smaller number. Hence, your answer is nothing but 72 square is 5184. Okay, now let's take another four digit problem to understand this. Let's say 7921. Again, the first step is to, step one is to contemplate unit digit unit one. So this means it could be one, one plus nine is 10. So either it could be one or nine, whatever it is, right? Step two is to calculate your tens place. For tens place, what you guys will do now? Split the number, right? 79 and 21 split. So 79 comes under the bracket of 8 square and 9 square. It is between 64 and 81. So that means the unit or sorry, the tens place is definitely the number 8, right? This is means 8. Now for finding out the third step, which is 1 or 9, what you will do? 8 into 9, it gives you 72. 79 is greater than 72. That means you will take the bigger option that is 9. So the answer that you are going to give is 89. 8 is the tens place, 9 will be taken as the unit place. Got it? Okay, we can apply the same concept for 5 digit numbers as well. Let's see how we are going to solve 5 digit. 5 digit means sirf ek problem kya ho jata hai? Ki we cannot actually rely, rely totally on 10 square. It might be possible ki wo 10 square se bada ho jai. So step by step karte hai, step 1 aata hai aapka unit digit unit digit is 9 9 happens in case of 3 3 plus 7 is 9 or 10 so that means it could be either 3 or 7 now again we have to split this right splitting kaas hoti hai last ke do digit chhod do right so now you will get 127 127 kin do number ke squares ke beech mein aata hai do number ke squares ke beech mein that's the equation so if we see 11 square 11 square mein pata hi hota hai 1 to 1 hai right aur ye 1 to 1 to iska matlab 11 square aur 12 square ke beech mein aayega to iska matlab iska jo tens aur 100 place pe hoga basically jo tens plus 100 place hoga wo aapka kya ho gaya iska matlab clear forward 11 now only target left is unit date kya hoga to uske liye abhi bhi wahi step 12 into 11 which is 130 to 127 is less than 132 that means we'll pick the smaller number hence answer to this is nothing but 113 so if you square 113 you will get 12769 that's it okay to understand the concept for 5 digit let's take another number it says 1164 so 4 kahan par aata hai? we know that 2 2 plus 8 is 10. So that means ya to 2 hoga last digit ya fir 8 hoga. Split karte hai jaldi se. So if you want to split this is the splitting. 116. 116 kin do squares ke number ke beech mein aata hai. 11 ka square to yaad hai na sabko. 1, 2, 1. Aur ye aad gaya. Dekha jaya isse bada ho gaya. To iska matlab jo aapka final answer hoga 100 or 10s ki place pe hoga 10. Kyo? Kyunki 10 square hota hai 100. Aur ye 116 jo hai. 100 or 121 ke beech mein so we will pick the smaller number 10 now our target is 2 or 8 what should be added at the end so 2 or 8 mein decide karenge aapne kaun sa number pick kara you have picked 10 10 into 11 is we know very very easily 110 116 is greater than 110 that's it so if it is greater than 110 you will pick the bigger number so the answer is 108 so 108 square is basically 11664 this is how you calculate this answer so i hope by doing these calculations now you will be able to find square roots of a perfect square very very easily whether it is three digit four digit or a five digit number there might be cases ki five digit numbers may you will find some difficulty don't worry you will be able to solve them for at least some of the cases right clear hope 
that you are enjoying the Vedic Maths thing. I myself am enjoying teaching Vedic Maths. Uh, but I think it could be really, really beneficial for any student who is going for any competitive exam. Chahe wo IIT ho, chahe wo NTSC ka exam ho, chahe wo Olympiads ho, chahe wo SSC ho, Bank PO ho, CAT ho, GMAT ho, SAT ho. It is important for everyone to just go and revise these strategies. Fantastic strategies. God bless you all. I will come up with another video now, maybe for 3D squares or something of that sort. God bless you all till then.